Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Maybelline Color Elixirs and they just look like this. I have five of them to show you and swatch for you today and I saw a couple of YouTubers do videos on these and they looked really interesting to me so I decided to pick some up. I found these at Walmart and I got them for $6.49 each. I tried looking for them at CVS, Walgreens, and Target and I had no luck but these are part of their permanent line so if you guys can't find them yet don't worry about it they're probably you know it takes a little bit for these to get out in stores so just keep checking your local like drug stores Walmarts and Targets and eventually you'll be able to find these so um, I'll just start off with the packaging first they're super cute they're really small they're really easy to throw in your bag or in your clutch or in your makeup bag super easy to travel with they're just rectangular the top is silver and then the bottom half is clear and then where the product is it's kind of shaped like, well, it is shaped like a lipstick. I don't know if you guys can see from here, but I think that's so cute. I thought that was a really clever idea. I really like the packaging of these lipsticks, lip glosses, or lip colors, whatever these are, the color elixirs. Maybelline claims that these lip elixirs will deliver the color of a lipstick, the cushiony care of a balm, and the glass shine of a gloss. Maybelline also says that the exclusive smoothing Angora brush delivers a polished, even application and smoothing sensation to the lips and my computer's over here that's why I'm reading off of it but um, yeah I actually fully agree on all of those claims I do think that these lipsticks have a really nice pigmented color I also think that they're really smooth and thick but not in a way that it's uncomfortable it's actually feels really hydrating on my lips I have a color on now and it just feels really nice I'm not sure if it's actually hydrating or moisturizing my lips but it does feel like that and also it does have a really nice glossy finish which I really like so all of those claims are definitely true so when you twist off the cap you see that you have a little kind of teardrop applicator and this immediately reminded me of the L'Oreal Caress lip stains I think they're called and just because of the applicator really um, I feel like the L'Oreal one is a little bit more put together the Maybelline one is just a little bit more shaggier I feel like the L'Oreal lip caress stain is just a whole different type of product the Maybellines are more just of a balm glossy kind of lipstick while the L'Oreal lip product is more of a stain and that kind of brings me to the staying power of the Maybelline ones. These last for about like an hour, an hour and a half at max. Like the lasting power is really not there, but um, Maybelline doesn't claim that these should last hours and hours long. So you know at least they're being honest but yeah these last the lasting power is pretty much that of a lip gloss personally I don't really mind that it doesn't last too long I don't mind reapplying but I know some of you might you know not like that too much so I just wanted to mention it there are 20 shades of these lip elixirs and I think that's an awesome range to have I will say that some of them look really really similar like I went to go pick up celestial coral I think it was and I noticed that it was open so I put it down and then and I picked up the one right next to it which looked identical and it was like a totally different color I was like what what's going on here but um, maybe that's just the tube it the colors look a little bit similar but I don't know maybe that was just me so I picked up five of these color elixirs and they're all pretty much kind of like pinky and neutral shades I don't like super bold shades but they had beautiful bright purples a bright red and a ton of those type of colors so if you like more of you know those dramatic lip colors then you will find your shade in this line. So I'm going to start off with the shade that I'm wearing right now. It is color 100 Petal Push and I think it's the lightest more like naturally shade in the bunch and I'm going to swatch it on my arm. So that was just one quick swipe. You can see the shimmer, um, which not all of the lip elixirs have. There's only a few with shimmer, and Petal Push is one of them with it. You can definitely see the gloss. It's really pigmented and smooth, so that's the first shade. It's the kind of the lightest one of the bunch. And this is just a really pretty light pink. These elixirs do have a scent to them. It's kind of like a subtle vanilla sweet smell. Even if you're really sensitive to smells, I don't think that this would bother you. I think it's just really subtle and kind of nice. I really like it. The next shade that I bought is called Rose Redefined and it's a super pretty kind of like pinky, corally, almost like a mauve color. I don't know if I explained it right. This is what it looks like on my lips and also kind of next to the tube. I feel like 
the color matches the tube really well so that's a good sign and I just can't help but mention again these are so thick and smooth and really moisturizing and it's not thick in an uncomfortable way I actually really like it next up I have a celestial coral and it's just a really pretty coral color it's not too bright and it's not too dark it's like right in the middle which I really like usually I would say this is a little bit too bold for me but I'm really liking it like I could definitely see myself wearing this out I think this is really pretty, very pigmented, and this might be one of my favorite colors. The next shade that I have is Caramel Infused, and it kind of reminds me of Rose Redefined and um, Celestial Cor Coral Mixed. Sorry, I couldn't pronounce that for a second. But it's just a really pretty, kind of naturally um, mauve pink shade, and I like it. And I just wanted to mention that I have the most sensitive lips in the world. They're always dry and chapped. But these lip products don't irritate me at all. And I find that a lot of other lip products do that. And the last shade that I have to show you guys is Mauve Mystique. And it is a beautiful kind of mauve plum. This might be my favorite shade of the bunch. And I think this is also the one that is perfect for the fall season. It's gorgeous. I love the gloss on it and the color is perfect. It's not too bold. It's not too bright. It's right in the middle. Just how I like it. So love this shade. So those were all of the shades that I bought and I think my favorite is this last one. And I also really like Petal Push because it's more on the supernatural side. But I think all of them are awesome. Like I've said throughout this whole video, these lip elixirs are really thick, hydrating. They have a ton of color and I don't know. I think they're overall just a really good lip product. I do want to mention that the only kind of downside to this lip elixir is that the lasting power is about an hour and an hour and a half and I know a lot of people might not like that but I think the color, the gloss, and just the way that this lip elixir feels will overrule the lasting power. So that's pretty much it for my review on these Maybelline color elixirs. If I forgot to mention anything let me know down below and I will get back to you. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.